Hello SUMC, Rob here, reporting in from one of SUMC Music's laboratories with some more thoughts and another friendly check-in to continue to hope you're safe and well and to encourage you to stay in touch. I am a Trekkie. I'm all about the Star Trek. And while I enjoy the pointed ears and the overacting and the Earl Grey hot and the phasers and Vulcan neck pinches and all that stuff, one of my favorite characters is good old Dr. McCoy, who in the first Star Trek movie returned to the newly redesigned Enterprise and declared... I know engineers, they love to change things. Change is good. Change, merely for its own sake, is not good. Or not always. Why would we change something that's going well? In our case, it's because we want to add something. We want to add something to our SUMC music plate? What are we, nuts? Not that we know of. But we do want to add a little tiny activity to our slate of activities, and we'd like to invite you to be part of it, if you're interested. More details as we get closer to the beginning of this program year, but this new little wrinkle is due in part to conversations we occasionally have that go like, well, I'd love to join the choir, but I don't read music, or I did a long time ago in school, but it's been a while, or what does this mean? And the way we're going to address this will be in part guided by our experiences during the first year or so of the COVID outbreak. That was when we had to figure out how we were going to continue SUMC music at all, and we found some things we could do over Zoom. And that whole teleconferencing thing, the proliferation of virtual meetings, even though in a lot of ways in-person meetings are still, to my mind, preferable for a lot of functional and psychological reasons, to be able to Zoom or do a Facebook Live event does address issues of convenience, bad weather, or not wanting to drive at night, to name a few. Here's the change part. We had to find a time in which to carry out this brilliant learn to read music, learn to sight sing idea, and the prospect of adding yet one more night out or in to all of our schedules didn't seem overly attractive. So what we're thinking of doing, starting in or around September, which is not that far away, is to gently move our gospel group meeting time about 15 minutes this way and our choir meeting time about 15 minutes that way so as to open up a half hour time slot for this new activity so that gospel group and choir folks can partake if they want without having to go out on a different night of the week. And we're going to try live streaming it, probably via Zoom or Facebook Live. We haven't figured that part out yet, so that anyone can eavesdrop. And by anyone, we mean anyone, in person or virtually. We'd like to invite anyone from SUMC or from the big wide world to join us. See, another insidious purpose of this is that this could be yet one more way we make new friends by proving that learning a new skill doesn't have to hurt, that music theory does not have to be painful, that we're nice and we don't bite and that we're a welcoming congregation. That's just as important as any of the notes or rhythms or whatever that we might talk about on a given night. So watch this space. Watch the SUMC Facebook page or the website for more details as we get closer to September, since it's August, y'all. So soon. La. Anyway, please check back here every Friday afternoon if you like for more video hellos here on SUMC's Facebook page or on the SUMC YouTube channel, Sudbury United Methodist Church 2501. My email address will appear here momentarily. Please feel free to use it anytime for any reason. And as always, if you need to get in touch with any church staff people for any reason, please do during normal business hours. Because no matter how, no matter what, doing the work of the church together is the big thing. Keep in touch, keep the faith, stay connected. <laughs>